everyone so i am back with another intuitive message so let's get into it this is called the journey of creating the first star seed message to come out was star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper so with this um it's saying that you guys are being called to think and learn and listen <laughs> think learn and listen amen um if you're feeling stuck you're being called to do something uh different you know be more creative tap into your creative side um the creativity is right in front of you so let's jump in with these messages so the first two to pop out together actually was the tower card and the muse of materials so with this um i instantly got that the shakeup happened um, a new foundation was basically on the horizon. So some unexpected change definitely happened in your life, something that you wasn't really prepared for. But spirit had your back regardless because with the muse of, of materials here, that change brought you abundance, earth energy. Um, and it basically uh, brought you some more creativity and material success. So you guys had to go through this tower moment in order to really receive what you need so with that um you have the three of materials your collaborations are coming in you know you're fusing your energies together and really starting to collab with other energies um to become more stable you know spiritually mentally emotionally whatever so no more you know being in solitude even though you had to go within because this was um, clarifying the tower card, the, the Hierophant. You had to go within. You had to go to a higher source. You had to go to your higher self. You had to pray, go to the universe, and really be like, yo, what's going on? Because I don't know what to do, where to go now. Like, this, you know, I was expecting one thing and something else happened. So, like I said, an un unexpected shakeup and change that you just really wasn't prepared for. But like I said, spirit prepared you. Spirit helped you. And that's why now, once you, after you went within and was like, you know what? Okay, Lord, I trust you. Okay, higher self, I trust you. Okay, spirit, I trust myself. I'm going to take the leap of faith. I'm going to walk into something that I don't know. But I want to understand my own spiritual journey. So I'm going to take those, those necessary steps. I'm going to try something new. I'm not going to continue to stay stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a choice. You know what I'm saying? And being stuck is not really what I want to do. You know? So spirit is just saying, like, yo, continue to move forward. And this is the energy that you guys are in, in the chariot energy. Um, you're staying in control of your own path of what you need to do. And you're confident. You're now believing in yourself. And you're knowing where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, at first you were, you know, basically with the full card, the, the full just packs their stuff up and just dip out. they like, listen, I'm going to just go wherever my heart and my feelings and my mind tell me to go. Right? And that's what you did. You went out and you went to go find your niche. Find what makes you happy. Find what makes, you know, you money and continues to keep you, you know, yourself stable. And so now you know what to do. You're confident in how you want to do it. Taking that leap of faith. Under the Hierophant was the two of materials. That's why I said you have choices. You know what I'm saying? Stuck between two things. Either you're going to stay stagnant. You know, either you're going to let this tower moment shake you up to the point where you're just like, you know what, I give up. Or you're going to push through. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you have all these responsibilities and, you know, just, just in, indecision. Indecision. Because you're just like, I don't freaking know. But... You have some progress coming in. You're making progress and making that change because things are coming together. So basically, after I'll, I'll repeat for you guys. After the tower moment, you definitely went within because you know you could read these cards a few ways. But after the tower moment, you went within, you know, into your higher self to really figure out what are the next steps because you know you sometimes you can't do it alone. Sometimes you have to just surrender. Go go to a higher source. And it puts you in this little energy of like, okay, because this is what I'm used to, but, but then again, but, you know, and with that, you literally have the ace of voices and the 10 of inspiration that came out together. 
So you over here trying to figure out what's going on in these other two decisions, an ending and a new beginning, an ending and a new beginning right in front of your face. So the ending of the burdens and being overwhelmed, you know what I'm saying? You were seeking the guidance. You found it. You know what I'm saying? And Spirit was telling you guys to prioritize and simplify your life. Don't overburden yourself. Don't overwork yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got all these responsibilities and stuff. Don't overdo it. And now you have clarity on what you want to do. New goals, new beginnings. You're not chasing these old dreams or these old goals that just had you flogging a dead horse. Or, you know what I'm saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So I'm saying like you, you're just, you're just done. And this is so beautiful because after your ending and your new beginning, you was like, you know what? The choice I have is to up walk away. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to, um, walk away from what no longer serves me. None of that past energy serves me, which is why the tower moment has happened. And I don't think anybody wants to go backwards after they done received, a, you know, abundance and material success and collaborations and just leaps of faith and new goals and stuff. So you walked away right into your happiness, bruh. Don't let me get emotional on this daggone channel now. But you walked literally right into your happiness. You made a choice and you chose to literally do something new create your own path and just take the creativity that was right in front of you you decided to snatch it up be proud of yourself be proud of yourself for the overall advice you have miss ida the high priestess even when i was breaking um breaking down this deck uh where the bag on cards at yeah even though here it is even though i was breaking down this deck right here like you know in the middle of it i kept seeing the priestess but here she is so your advice, your overall advice is don't lose sight of, you know, the spiritual. Don't lose sight of yourself. Continue to go within and continue to align your higher self and your spiritual beliefs with what you do in the physical. It's easier said than done. None of this stuff is easy, y'all. But spirit is literally here helping you trying to, you know, find new ways to be creative and find um, new ways to become stable. You know, find new ways to just ascend in life instead of staying stagnant and doing the same thing over and over and over. That's done. That is the end. It is time for something new. Okay? Walk into your happiness, all right? And for the closing star seed message, we have star bathing, which is actually after star ancestors in the book. Um, light body, crystal gear, grid, sorry, crystal grid transmission activation. What I'm getting from this is that and even in the book, it says, you know, like there are certain star seeds that come, you know, to earth. And we all know that, you know what I'm saying? Like we know that God literally places certain energies and people on this earth to help assist to help ascend, to help the generation continue to push through in a positive light or in, in, in a different light, if anything. So it's just really cleansing your soul and really like that foundation was shaken up. So now you're someone new. You know what I'm saying? We are a spirit inside of a body. So you're basically here to connect. You're here to connect and you know your your higher self is definitely being activated it's, it's like it's like one of those times and it, and it makes sense like i've been feeling that energy so intensely now where it's a lot of like spiritual work going on you know what i'm saying so understand that it is okay to be in the unknown it is okay to feel a little different if some people you know certain people aren't as spiritual as i am or don't really know much about tarot and then they want to get into it and they you know find out like oh this is my call and this is what i need to do you're a star seed you deserve to you deserved to find the fact you know find out that this was meant for you and you also deserve to live within your own truth so that's why you have star bathing here so changing in your vibration and your higher self it's like, yo, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. And I think that's beautiful, y'all. Continue to stay ready so you ain't never got to get ready. And continue to progress and understand that spirit only has your best interests at heart. These shakeups 
And these tower moments is only here to assist you in any way that you need assistance, in any way, because we all have different stories. So take the assistance, take the guidance, take the spiritual teachings, take what resonates, leave the rest, and there you have it. There's your ascension and there's your happiness. There's your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Deuces.